Well, that heat, it is pretty much unbearable. If you've stepped outside, you know, and it's particularly dangerous for those older and younger. Ten fire stations across Fulton County are doubling right now as cooling stations to keep people out of the extreme temperatures. CBS 46's Haley Mason out in the elements for us now. She joins us from one of those cooling centers. Haley. Hey there, Alicia. We saw so many people out walking through the city of South Fulton today, and one thing they all had in common they were moving quickly, just trying to get out of this sun and out of this heat. The fire department wants people to know they can come inside these fire halls to stay cool. For many people, just walking down the sidewalk today felt exhausting under the beaming heat. Hot enough to fry eggs, that's what it is. Go, go put a little oil down there and fry your eggs. On the sidewalk. On the sidewalk. <laughs> The city of South Fulton is trying to offer a place of refuge inside their 10 fire stations. Each fire hall will double as a cooling station. Inside, firefighters are preparing coolers of ice and bottled water for anyone who wants to come in. They're hoping to get the word out to people who need it. There are sofas and chairs for people who need to rest in the air-conditioned buildings, and medics can assist with medical needs. Their goal is to prevent heat-related illnesses and show people the signs. Some of the symptoms of heat illness are uh, temperature, body temperature greater than 104, uh, dizziness, headache, nausea, uh, cool or clammy skin, which is usually indicative of somebody who's been uh, engaging in physical activity, or dry skin, which is somebody who's just been exposed to the heat. Now there are 10 fire stations across the city of South Fulton. They'll open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but eight of them will be open around the clock, serving as cooling stations. We'll have a list updated on our CBS 46 app. Reporting live in the city of South Fulton, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.